talk about a tool you need for this course. Uh, we will be using Moat Analytics, which is a collaborative analytics platform that combine uh, SQL, R, Python, and visual analytics in one place. So anyone can easily connect, analyze, and share the insight using this tool. Uh, Most is a very powerful tool and currently being used at big tech companies like Lyft, Twitch, Shopify, and Reddit. Uh, it is completely free uh, with its basic plan for up to five users. And this is exactly the tool we'll be using for this course. So in order to use Moat and their SQL editor, we would need to create an account with them. So first, let's go to your web browser and type in moat.com. Hit enter. I'll be using Chrome at my default web browser for this course, but you can definitely use any web browser of your choice. You see an option that said try for free. Click on that. It would then ask you to enter your email and sign up for a personal account with Moat, which is very straightforward. Since I already created an account with them, I will just skip this step and go directly into sign in. I'll enter my username and my password. Click sign in and it will take me into my personal moat.com account. On the right hand side, you see a button that says connect to database. This option is super convenient if you or your business has any private data stored in any other cloud platform or databases. Moat support the majority of different databases, even privately hosted one. Uh, in this course, we will not be using any private data set. Uh, just mention this as an option if you plan to use Moat for your business. So let's go back to our workspace. We'll be using a public data set that already exists in Moat. To do that, click the plus sign that says New Report, and it will ultimately take us to the SQL editor in Moat. On the right hand side, you see the Moat public warehouse. This one will be available for everyone to see. And under it, you see a data set set tutorial. Inside the tutorial, here are the list of public table that you can use. And we can pick one of them. Let's say just pick account. Next to it, you see a play button that said return first in that row. If you click on it, it ultimately you know, display the SQL and ultimately run it and return us the result table. And that's it. We already set up the tool we'll be using throughout this course. See you in the next section.